the double tow travel trailer that is across the entire oh gosh, lane. <laughs> This is what a month on a ranch will do to <laughs> shoes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, babe, it looks so good. Mat yes. cleaning is like one of my love languages. Yeah, I forgot to do the steps though. Look how filthy these steps still are. Sorry. Right. Anyways. Good, Good morning. morning. We are at Walmart and we are on our way to do Tetons. And those dudes are staring at us. That's okay. <laughs> they think we're crazy. It's we right. are we crazy. Are. We haven't been at a Walmart in over a month. We need some restocking. Yes. Like desperate restocking. We're gonna go explore the vast aisles of, uh, of Walmart. Mm -hmm. This is like the best thing ever. My dad had a Geo Metro like this, but a convertible. This is cracking me up. Wow. The, the double tow travel trailer? The double tow travel trailer that is like across the entire oh gosh, lane. Attempt to park. Look at that. <laughs> Should I go ask him if he knows he's hanging out? No. I'm pretty sure he knows. <laughs> <laughs> We did. We did two cartons. Good. Took the guy to check our receipt a whole long time to. <laughs> well, let's pack all this up and then we'll go get shoes, see what time it is. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. I'm going to start handing in frozen things. Okay. So, this is what a month on a ranch will do to <laughs> shoes. Look at that. Another one, honey. Babe. Why you guys wreck our shoes? <laughs> they worked hard at the ranch, Daddy. They sure did. So yeah, we're gonna go to the store and I buy some new shoes. Uh, one other thing I bought today. These are five and a quarter bed risers. They were only like five dollars. So I figured pack of four to use under these stabilizers that aren't really designed to take all the weight anyways, just to get it up off the ground. So we're gonna see uh, see if that helps. I was looking at them online. Anderson makes some, they're seven and a half inches, maybe eight inches. Um, and they're like a hundred dollars for a set of four. So before I do that, I'll give these a shot. So now we're gonna eat some lunch. We need to get going. We do. Buffalo chicken wraps. Or salad. Or salad. <laughs> There's no wrap under that. They are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. Nice. Waters. Take up some space. We need to get a filtration system. I know. I am more than impressed that the girls actually found some shoes. Thanks. Layla in particular. <laughs> Good she's, job, Layla. <laughs> she's so, she's so particular. Picky. I love it. That's about <laughs> how I used to be too. I was going to say, used so to I be? Ended up, I ended up buying Converse when I was a kid and did every year after. Converse All Stars. Now what do you wear only? Sandals. What kind of sandals? Vans. He really likes the checkered Vans. They look good on you. Uh, I thought long and hard about washing the truck. Again, mm -hmm. I did yesterday, 
We went through that hailstorm, and because I thought long and hard, the world prepared itself for me. And that does not look inviting. That's the mountain range we're about to go over, so. <laughs> you didn't Good get choice. me this time. Good choice. Okay. The boy. The boy? The boo? The boy, the boo. The boy. Oh, look, that's a little archway, like. Cute. Here comes the rain, babe. Look at that rain. That's incredible. That's just like a wall of water dumping it's out of that cloud. pouring out. That looks like a tornado. I don't care, rain all you want now. <laughs> we'll probably end up cleaner at this point. Whoa, got that one. That looks cool on those hills. Rain, we're okay with. Hail, not so much. Prepping for time lapse. Mm -hmm. Time lapse, go. Word. Every single time. Oh. Well, it's only been twice, but. Yeah, but. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's just stunning. Right out of the clouds, too. It is just as good the second time. They just kind of appear from the trees. I thought we weren't going to be able to see it with this rain, which is kind of a bummer, but yeah. right they are gorgeous. They're like yeah. glimmering in the it sun. It must have just been a storm right over that pass, so it looks like it's clearing. We don't exactly know where we're camping tonight because people always talk about this upper view, so it might be full. It may be full. <laughs> There's a couple other spots we can find. We're heading for Upper Teton View, and we'll see where we go from there. I think we're like a half an hour from there. Yes. We're coming back down in the sun. It's 54 degrees. About an hour ago when we were <laughs> buying shoes for the girls, it was 92. That's crazy. Yeah, that's an insane difference. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to describe what it is about this mountain range. They're just so rugged and sharp, and it's such a stark difference from other mountain ranges. It, it, they just take your breath away. Hey, Roosevelt. It's one of my favorites. This is what mountains should look like. Yes. That's what Teddy Roosevelt said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slow and steady, huh? Slow and steady. Alright, so Corey flew the drone up to see what Upper Teton View looks like and it's pretty packed. So we might stay down in the lower level tonight. He's gonna pull in here. You good? No, honey, I think you're all good. I think you can get in. Thank you. You can straighten out a little bit more, babe. There you go. Now start turning. Mounted. There's like nothing to reference to make sure the mount was straight. Yeah. And whatever, we'll see. Okay. She's going. Excellent. All right. So we stayed down here last night, which is the, the lower level before you drive up to Upper Teton. And Corey droned this morning, and it looks like there may be a spot for us to fit. A little drone surveillance. <laughs> Handy. So we're gonna go check out that spot. What we don't know is if there's actually like a good view from that location. We'll find out. I should have 
I should have put the drone right down in and like looked out. <laughs> I don't want to freak everybody out up there though. Yeah, that might be a little freaky. Okay. Are we all done in there? We're all done. Okay. And our friend Sarah is going to come up with us. Yeah, our friend Sarah, who was born in Maine. She had a chipmunk in her engine bay. I saw it climb up in and it was going to try to make residence in there. That's a big. We noticed a uh, chipmunk went up into her hey, engine bay. Good. Look at that thing. Oh yeah, they'll do some damage. Get out of there, buddy. Oh yeah, let's poke it. We shoot it out. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so last year we really didn't know what we were doing. We just kind of bombed up here and we didn't run into anybody. So this time I went the extra mile, flew the drone up just before we left, just to make sure that nobody was, you know, breaking down and, and coming down. So this is the time we're going to run into somebody. <laughs> because I took because the effort. Because you took the effort to check. To do it right. And I got that time lapse going up there. I hope that comes out good. I hope it's straight. If we could fit over there, that's where we were last I'm year. I'm impressed. Did you guys back in there? I'm oh, impressed. Yeah. You can back in anywhere. I can barely back my thing up. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's pretty handy at it. I'm gonna go cut that tree down. Yeah. That's what I just said. Do you think they'd care? <laughs> we're totally kidding. I'm standing in the hole. Keep coming. Keep coming. We need both tires to be in this hole. If that tree wasn't there, this would be the best Turn. spot. Turn this way. Stop. Just pull forward a little bit. These sides are incredible, but you do have to do a little bit of finagling to try to level yourself out. There you go. Up, more, more. Stop. Put it in park. Perfect. Let's go feel it on the inside. Pretty good in here. Oh yeah. So we made it up here. I love it up here. It's not as long as a road as I remember it last year. Yeah, it's pretty quick. I think I was just super nervous last year. We've been here like half an hour or whatever. So I got a pulled pork started and we're gonna try out those um those bed things to see if they work with the stabilizer. These things here. He's very excited about these. He's really well, if they're work. five dollars and if they work versus a hundred and they're super light. Pricey. Yeah, they are light. So we'll see how they go. Let's try it out. That's pretty solid on my side. Are they buckling at all? No. Wow, that's more than I'll put on it. So. Nice. We'd have to stack five of those blocks. Oh yeah. And now for the front ones. They're not flexing at all. No. That's awesome, babe. All right, we got some solar going. We need to get some proper solar still. Yeah, it's coming. Eventually. All right, let's go in and see what that does out here. Actually, you stay out here and I'll move around and see what it does. Okay. Nothing. They're not moving at all. For $5, I call that a win. The theory behind going up higher is these automatic stabilizers, the further they go down, the further they go in. So the further you catch them out, the more stable it's gonna be. Right, it's a lot of furthers. A lot of furthers. <laughs> Off that. 
So we got some friends. We're gonna eat some food, do some night photography. I'm getting pumped. It's I think it's gonna be a night. clear night. It should be the Milky Way, it should look good. All right, let's get it going. These crazy boys have decided to relocate our fire. So that's the big log from the fire that they've already started and are going to relocate for the better view. Mostly in National Parks. Um, I started out of Boston. Um, Corey's running some of our new friends as they're just leaving our campsite up here. And I think we're gonna move from here to right here because this will be the new view. So we're gonna pack up really quick and just scoot right over. And that's part of the reason why we stayed attached yesterday, just in case something better opened up. Not a bad view from the old dinette. So the kids are gonna go find some firewood. They haven't even put on their new sneakers yet. He's gonna wreck those things so fast. Yeah, we are. Don't you dare slip those on. You're gonna ruin the heels. I always slip on shoes. What kind did you get? Um. You got Sacconis. Sacconi. What'd you get? Oh, Asics. Asics. All right. Don't get bit by snakes. Okay. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Wow, what a sunset. It should have gone. It's all right. We're gonna go check out sunrise in the morning. Yeah. You guys ready to get up early? Yeah. I do have donuts. All right, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, oh, babe, that's great. Good job. Babe. All right, you guys ready for a sunrise adventure? Yes. Lily, Every is your I hair ready? I can't. I, I didn't sleep the night. That sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're going to do Mormon Row for the barn and Schwabacher's. Schwab. Schwabacher's Landing? <laughs> Schwabacher's Landing. Well, that cool, like, answer. reflection shot. So they're not that far from here. We're like 20 minutes away, so we got to go. Right Nickerson now. fashion. We're going to do donuts and coffee. That's right. Did you make chocolate milk? Chocolate milk for the girls. All yep. Right. Usually just milk. We did an upgrade. So what time is it? 5.30? 5.20? 5.25. We've Let's been promoted. Sunrise is at 6.04. Let's get going. We got some clouds, babe. It's going to be a good morning. Look at this. Cool. Ready? All right. We got to do a water run also. right onto Schwabacher's Landing Road. Do we know exactly where it is? In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. You've okay. arrived. Maybe. What was that? Oh. 
little little sure better. <laughs> it's like 35 degrees outside. What? It's so cold. <laughs> Layla's got the best seat in the house. Oh yes. He looks so comfy and warm. Youngest always. Warmer she is, the warmer I am. True. Oh. I'm the youngest in that family. <laughs> Inside of mountains away from darkness I can't believe it's it like, says 33 right now. It's gone it down five degrees, degrees. during the day and 30 degrees. It's gonna be 82 today. That's crazy. Whew. Donuts? Okay, go oh, off that sun. Don't bring your RV down here. You could probably spin just about anything around, but for the most part, there's so many cars down here yeah. that you wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, you could bring a Class C down here, but I wouldn't bring anything like. Not ours. Yeah. And it's narrow. <laughs> oh! Whoa! I literally can't see it. Uh, okay. We're on the road? Yep, you're on the road. <laughs> this is his view. Okay, so we still have not had breakfast yet. We're gonna go check out more Monroe and see if there's a place well, for us to... It's only 6.55. I know, but I'm just saying, we still haven't done donuts and coffee yet. That's the entire point of waking up, 33 right? 33 degrees. So cold. It's July. We have our friends, the Rollins, coming in this afternoon. We're gonna take them back here and kind of do like the actual history of this Mormon row, but right now we're just gonna go take a pretty picture. This is a pretty sweet spot. Yeah, I mean, did you see that backup job? That was fantastic, honey. The girls are freezing, so I left them in the car. We're gonna go see if Corey's getting anything that he likes over here. Girls are freezing. Yeah, like that's incredible. I'm filming, you filming. <laughs> it's stunning. This place is so beautiful. somebody on this road. Photography around here is really awesome. I don't think it matters really where you aim it, but according to a couple blogs, those two places we went are on the top of the list for sunrise places, and I assume um, sunset as well, and they're easy to get to. A little bit cold, so we, we ate donuts in the truck. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna work this afternoon, and um, maybe go to Jackson tonight with uh, the Rollins when they get here. Okay, we got some work done and we are back in the road. The Rollins got a little delayed. They had to do some video editing themselves and stop and upload something. So we are gonna go to Jackson. We're gonna just meet him right there. We're just gonna go to the, some shootout. Do we even know anything it's about some, the shootout? It's called the shootout and it's a reenactment and all during the summer, Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. they reenact this shootout in the, in the town square. So we're gonna go check I'm it out. I'm sure it's super authentic. <laughs> I've yeah. seen videos of it's it. It's just an excuse it's to get cute. into the Jackson and go yeah. find something to eat. This will be our first time actually going into Jackson, so we're excited to just see what the town is like. Either way, we are pumped to see the Rollins. We haven't seen them since Georgia. We have yeah. some in Georgia. 
<laughs> what was that? A month and a half? Two months? That yeah. was two months ago. It was two months ago. But we met them a year ago in Alaska. Actually, a year ago yesterday. Yeah. Here, show them again. One more time. <laughs> The Jackson Hole Greater Yellowstone Visitor Center is just a couple blocks down from where the shootout reenactment is taking place, so we're gonna park here. It's only a half an hour and there's two hour parking here, so we're just gonna park and go check out the shootout. Jackson is super cute, and I cannot believe that it's not as packed as I thought it was gonna be. This is awesome. Nice of you to join us. I was admiring you guys from across the street. I know. Check out this arch. You gotta get a selfie. Yeah, definitely. These are the times of the old west, where the outlaws reign as king. Glover the killer and his gang are coming into town, and they say he's looking for a fight. Come on, Brady! But I do like your red lips, I won't lie. <laughs> The little girl behind you. That's her favorite. Animal. There you go. That's why we stopped. Right the bank. Jackson Hole was super cool. Yeah, it's a neat little town. It's I cute. will say I'm a little disappointed in the shootout. I thought it was based on some sort of true event no i guess it's been going since the 50s 1950 mm -hmm. uh they've just been making up a story about a shootout yeah like some sort of gang that it's, came in it's still fun but it's neat it's I neat was, but we I, like I historical love history stuff. so i thought it was historical and no it's not. <laughs> it's not we got to catch up with our friends they met us there and now we're gonna go and get some pizza and i've heard this place has a pretty cool view of the tetons so we're gonna have dinner and then head back up to our site What do you think? 